you guys. Awesome. We are here and we are coming at you with a live 40 minute full body kettlebell workout. It is going to be no jumping, but trust me, it is going to raise your heart rate. I'm Lindsay Bonger and I'm Nourish Food Love and I have the amazing Rachel with me. Rachel is going to be offering modifications and showing you how you can do this entire kettlebell workout using a single dumbbell. So you don't have to have a kettlebell. You can do this as a single dumbbell workout or a kettlebell. I have a 25 pound and an 18 pound kettlebell with me. Rachel's got a 20 pound and a 15 pound dumbbell with her. And then she has, we both have sweat towels, right? You can do, use entirely whatever you have to make this workout work for you. It is going to be a fun, full body. I think of it as like a kettlebell, high intensity strength training. It is going to be a hit workout with no jumping, which is why I love kettlebell training. Such an awesome way to raise your heart rate and jump, which is awesome. Great kind on the joints. It's going to be a total body burner is what it's going to be. Okay, let's get this party started. Rachel, you ready? Let's go. We don't have a microphone on today because we've been having some mic issues. So let us know. Just thumbs up. Can you hear me okay? Awesome. Nice. Welcome. So glad you're here, Catherine. Woo! Excited you can join us live. Welcome, Harmony. You have a 15-pound kettlebell. That'll work just perfect. Awesome. Nice work. Okay. Oh, Insta Pete. Yeah, we are so glad you are here. That's Rachel's boyfriend. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Let's go from Parker, Colorado. I love it. You guys so excited. You guys are here. Hopefully you can hear us. Okay. We don't have music. So crank up your own jams. Okay. Crank up your own jams and we're going to get this party started. We're going to start with a good body weight warm up. We'll walk through some of the moves that we're going to do for today's workout as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and start feet underneath my hips. Give me a big inhale. Reach up nice and tall. I'm going to start my timer. We don't have Megan with us here today to rock our timer. So I got to rock the timers, do all the things. Right wrist grabs left. Let's go up and over side body stretch to the right. Back to center, switch it out. Up and over, side body to the left. Nice, back to center, soft bend in your knees. You're just gonna pedal your arms back. Go ahead, step up if you need to, there you go. Pedal those arms back, soft bend in the knees, opening the chest, the shoulders, warming it up. Today is a full body workout, but we're mostly gonna focus on legs, core, back, little chest in there too. Switch directions, here we go. Okay, legs, core, chest, back, shoulders are gonna be in there, shoulders, chest. Shoulders, chest, and back are mostly gonna hit the upper body and then we're going to go ahead and hit a whole lot of legs. Flap those wings, a whole lot of legs, which me and Rachel are so pumped about. We filmed in the studio on Tuesday, and our legs are so spicy so right now. Sore. So we're both looking at this workout going, oh, man. Oh, man, take it over to a hinge position. Hinge right here, nice. You're going to study the hands. You're going to reach for the toes, and then you're going to stand up and go to a calf raise. So hip hinge, reach for the toes, stand up. Nice, that hip hinge. Thinking about pushing those hips back towards the wall behind you. Getting a nice stretch through those hamstrings because our arms so tight for me. So tight. Right there. Nice little hammy stretch. And then stand tall. Every time I stand tall, I'm thinking about driving through my heels to stand me tall. And I'm thinking about just tucking my pelvis right underneath my rib cage, okay? So hip hinge, tuck the pelvis under the rib cage, stand straight up. Nice. So we're going to think about with each deadlift, with each kettlebell swing today, okay? Two more right here. Nice work. Last one. We're going to go side to side squat. So I'm going to step. Right, together, left, together. We're gonna use these outer glutes today. We're gonna move side to side. Woo, nice work. Awesome job, these outer glutes are so sick. I know, I was just thinking that. <laughs> you guys are really gonna like the new workout right. we filmed because Lindsay and I can barely walk today. Seriously, <laughs> so many good new workouts coming for you, but that means that we can't walk in today's workout. I'm just like, how am I gonna make it through this, Rachel? <laughs> We are going to do it. We're going to do it together, you guys. The lives are always fun. Lives are fun. They we are. bring the energy, bring the intensity. We all going to move at our pace. I may be moving a little slower today. That's okay. That's good. It's nice. a good time to focus on Four. form. You know? Yes. Three. Two. Last one. Let's just hold a nice little squat. Just hold it here. Pulse it low for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! You know it's going to be a good workout when that feels spicy. Right foot forward. Left leg's gonna step back to lunge. Drop that back left knee to the ground. Tuck that tailbone underneath you. Tiny pulses here. Go for eight, seven, six. Full range lunge. In four, three, two. Let's lunge. Option lunge, option knee drive or tap. Drive through that front heel. Drive. Nice. Drive. Now imagine you have a kettlebell right here. Swing it. Woo! Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of uneven work, a lot of unilateral work. Woo! A lot of core engagement. Four. Nice. Three, hold that lunge in two and one. Hold that lunge. You're actually gonna take your hands, go inside your right foot. Nice run or lunge here, nice low stretch. Right arm opens the sky. Knees follow fingertips, roll that right wrist. Ooh, that feels good. Take that right elbow. Let's actually push that right elbow into the knee a little bit, open it up a little bit. 
push it in there. Oh, oh, it feels so good, but painful at the same time, guys. One more big open. Set it down, step back, find a high plank. Knees or toes, shoulders stacked over wrist, cores nice and back. Two push ups. Down, up, down, up. Nice work. Step the left foot outside the left hand. Right here. Easy twist. Roll out the wrist. Nice. Take that left elbow, just push it into that left knee. Open up those hips. Woo! We love a good hip opening move. Nice. Open it back up. Nice. Drop it down. Step back. Mountain climber, slower, fast. It's up to you. Drive your knees towards your chest for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five. Slow burpee step -ins. in three, two, one. Step your right foot, your left foot. Stay tall. Take it down. Step back. Switch that lead foot. Go left, then right. Stay tall. Take it down. Step back. Step back. Give me the right, the left. Stand tall. Last one. Step with that left foot first. Here we go. Go left, right. Stand tall. Let's jack it up. Jack it. Jack it or tap it. Up to you. Here we go. Woo. Nice. Go eight, seven, six. Hold those feet nice and wide. In three, two, one. We're going to hit it side to side. Toes face me or slightly out. Hit side, center, side, center. You got it. Side. Center, think. Rip kick to thigh. Drive off back to center. Nice. Hitting those inner thighs, outer glutes. Woo, get them nice and warm. Four, three, nice. Two, let's hold it here. Option. Puff these toes off the ground. Just a nice little deep hip opening stretch. My husband and I were both stretching last night before bed. We're like, we got to start getting back into this routine of foam rolling before bed. Switch it out other side. I'm talking about how sick and tight we are. We'll tighten our hips, right. sorry, right? So good to come back to these stretches before your workout, after your workout, just a quick little midday stretch routine. We can all use it. Back to center, give me a nice wide leg forward fold. Shake out those hammies. Roll up one vertebrae at a time when you get to the top. Two big shoulder rolls. I'll back it down. I'll back it down. Woo. Ready to do this thing, Rachel? Let's go. She's ready. I'm ready. Quick sip of water. Let me tell you what your workout looks like today. Your workout is 10 full body kettlebell exercises. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We do it twice, okay? So you got 10 full body kettlebell exercises. We do it times two, that's it. You only gotta do each exercise twice, okay? Right, that's gonna be about 20, 25 minutes of the workout, okay? It's the majority of it right there. And then we have something really spicy coming at you. It is an AMRAP. We're gonna finish with the AMRAP circuits and they are just gonna blast it's just, they're intense, okay? AMRAMs are intense. But the best part about this workout is you get to choose your intensity level today, okay? You get to move at your pace. It's 40 seconds. It's all time. Take it at your pace. If you have an activity tracker or watch on and you're using a kettlebell, go ahead and flip it. You're going to want this on your wrist, the, the bottom of your wrist, because you're going to be putting the kettlebell right here on the top of your wrist, okay? So I like to flip it. Or you can take your activity tracker off altogether. Totally up to you. Let's talk about the moves. Your first move is a deadlift clean on even squat, single arm press, okay? So let's start with the, the kettlebell, dumbbell in our right hand. Okay, so I'm gonna do a deadlift, that is a hip hinge. Hinge, I'm tapping the belt or the dumbbell, wherever you can reach, I'm gonna go for kettlebell in front of my right foot. And then I'm gonna clean it up to my shoulder by driving my hips forward. How do I do that? I push through the ground with my heels, drive it forward, kettlebell comes up, it flips to the back of my wrist. I do a squat, single arm press, low down, give me the deadlift, the clean, the squat, the push, okay? So that's the big move. It is a big complex move we are starting with. One deadlift, one clean, one single arm press. Yes, we're just gonna show you how you can do it with a single dumbbell. I got you with the kettlebell. You get to choose what you got today, yes? We go, guys. Woo, I gotta get myself amped up. Here. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. What minute is it that you start to get into the workout? For me, probably about 10. We got about three more minutes till I get there, okay? Here we go, start your timer. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We go in three, two, let's go. Deadlift, clean, squat, single arm press, take it down, load with control. Whew, big exhale, pushes overhead, okay? That uneven load on one side of the body. You're gonna make that core turn on, yes? Hips back, hip hinge, hips down. Nice, awesome job. On that hips back, I initiate with a hip hinge, and then I squat, pushing my knees out towards my pinky toes. You got 10 seconds on this one. Let's go. Push. Come on, it's a big complex move. You're not gonna get through a lot of reps. You're in the final. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now I'm gonna take mine. You can hold it as goblet squat style. We're gonna step side to side squat thruster. So I'll go 
right, push, left, push, okay? Right here, I'm holding the horns of the kettlebell. Right here, top of the kettlebell hits my collarbone, bottom hits mid chest. We go to the right in three, two, let's go. Squat, push, squat. We just filmed a tutorial we'll be sharing soon on the goblet squat. Whether you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, elbows should fall inside the legs, right? Keep those elbows nice and tight. Chicken winging right here might feel more natural, but actually it's gonna pull you forward. Increase the strain on the low back. Keep those elbows in. You control the bell. 10 seconds. Let's go. Elbows fall inside. My thighs. Woo. Four, three, two, one. See what I mean? It's gonna raise your heart rate. Nice wide squat. Sumo squat stance. Thing. You can go heels in, toes out. You're just holding the squat, performing an alternating single arm row. Row, row. You can pass in the middle. I'll pass. Pass the middle. You don't have to set it down each time. Woo, you ready? Hold your squat in three, two, get low and hold. Row, row. Nice. So I'm holding the squat, low in the legs the entire time. You're going to feel that fire and intensity. Flat back, neutral spine, gaze in front of me. I got a two by four from my head to my tailbone. Pulling elbow to rib cage, elbow to rib cage. Control it down. Nice work, guys. You got it. Core stays nice and tight right here. Hitting the back. Woo, legs are still nice and firing. 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Pull, pull. You got it. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, hands down. Least favorite move I'm looking forward to. Once we get through this, I'll be ready to go. Okay, let's go right foot forward. Kettlebell right hand. Left leg is gonna lunge. As I lunge, the right hand swings, so it looks like this. Lunge, swing, lunge, swing. You gotta drive through those hips. We go in three, two, let's go. Lunge, swing, lunge. Woo! That uneven load. Do you feel your core getting pulled in all directions? You really gotta drive through that right front heel. Nice. Come on. You got it. Drive those hips. Woo! -hoo! That right leg should be so stinking on. Fire. Yes, you can. Stay with me, guys. Right here. You got it. 10 seconds. Come on, come on. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Holy bananas. That's the move. Right there. Kettlebell on the ground or dumbbell. One push up, right hand on the bell. I'm going right on the meaty part. My hand goes right inside the horns. One push up. Two mountain climbers. One push up, two mountain climbers. We go in three, two, let's go. One push up, drive, drive. One push up, drive, drive. I'm going for my knees today. That's what I got. You do your best, forget the rest. Woo! Let me tell you, day two, after a full shoot day, is when I feel it. My body is feeling it today. Halfway, guys. Halfway. Come on. Woo! One push up, drive, drive. One push up, drive, drive. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Stay in it. Right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. It's the best way to get off the ground after doing oh, push ups, Rachel. Burpee. Woo! Everyone's going to be mad at me now because I'm the one who had to say it. <laughs> burpee clean. Burpee clean. So I do one burpee and then I. Clean the kettlebell or dumbbell up to shoulder height. Set it down. Right back into a burpee. Alternate sides each time. Three, two, let's go. One burpee. One clean. Set it down. One burpee. One clean. Set it down. Again, drive me through those heels to stand me tall. Tucking my hips right underneath my rib cage. Powering that kettlebell right up to shoulder height. Halfway, guys. Halfway. Woo! You got it. One rep at a time. Come on. Just keep moving. Yes, you can. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, team. Stay in it. Right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Set it down. Swings. Swings. All right, you're going to stay high. Good old kettlebell swing. 
We're gonna go spin the alternate hands. I got two hands on my bell. Bell is in front of me. Toes face forward. Pick it up in three, two. Let's swing, hinge, swing, hinge, swing. Hips back, drive through the heels. Hips back, drive through the heels. We just did a, a reel on Instagram about this, right? Uh -huh. About avoiding that common error. I'm gonna show you. Common error is that overextension at the top, right? You see this? No. Stand straight up. Think about pressing your heels into the ground to stand you straight up. Bell swings right up to shoulder eye level. Drive the power from the lower body. Hamstrings and glutes and hips for five, four, three, two, and one. Recover. Woo, set that belt down in front of you just like that. Awesome. Oh man, core move. This looks easy, but it's hard. So standing on your right leg, you're gonna start with the bell in your left hand. You go single leg deadlift. Pass it, pass it. Stand up, drive the knee, pass under the knee, pass under the knee. Let's go. Shoot it back, single leg deadlift. Pass it, pass it. Woo, try not to tap if you can. Pass it, oh man, pass it. Hello, core training. Single leg, unilateral work, core training. Right here, woo, get that knee up, pass it, pass it. Woo, a lot of focus, a lot of balance, a lot of core. Trying to catch that heart rate after those swings and burpees. Come on, 10 seconds. Gonna feel that standing leg, totally normal. All those small stabilizing muscles around your hips and your core for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lateral lunge queen. Nice work, guys. Awesome job, team. Lateral lunge. So I'm gonna take this kettlebell, we're gonna step just to the right, tap it to the right, clean it up right here, okay? Tap to the right, clean it up. We go in three, in two, in one. Tap down, explode up. Tap down, explode up. Inhale down, exhale, knee drives up. Inhale down, exhale, knee drives up. Take it down, driving off that outer loop. Think of it as a single leg squat on that right leg. Take it down, clean it up. Take it down, really gotta explode off those outer glutes to get back to center. Driving that knee up, driving that bell up. Hand slide down the horn of the bell as I drive it up. Come on, five, four, three, two. You're gonna give me one more, because you can. Woo, glute bridge. Glute bridge, take it down to the ground, guys. Down to the ground. Woof da. Nice work. Our last move, right? Crushing it, last move, this is move. Number 10, and then you get a break. Get a break. Okay, lying on your back. Glute bridge. I'm holding it right here overhead. I'm gonna drop one elbow to the ground, one elbow. Elbow goes out to the side, 90 degrees. Join when you're ready. Drop, push, drop, push, drop, push. Closer the heels are to the glutes, more I'm gonna feel them. Farther they are, more to the hamstrings, chest, core, glutes, hammies. Woo, a lot of core. As the arm drops, so right arm drops, I try to keep that left hip stable. Left arm drops, right hip's gotta stay stable. Yes, that arm comes out to the side, right in line with the shoulder, finding a parallel. Nice, you're just dropping the back of the arm to the floor. Drop and push, drop and push, holding that glute bridge. Knees are tracking straight out from my hips. You got it, stay with it guys. Three, two, and one, recover. Awesome job team, Woo! Those are your 10 moves, how do you feel about it? How do you feel? Nice work, modified versions, absolutely. You do your best, follow Rachel, she's got lots of modification options for you. You can always modify additionally if you need to. You can omit the overhead presses if you've got shoulder stuff. Awesome, oh no. Anyone else having a freeze? Hopefully not. No, no. We want this to work seamlessly. Okay, we're going live on Instagram and on YouTube, so you can always simultaneously check feeds. Join it tomorrow. Yes, a great workout to finish the week with right here. Nice full body routine. How are we doing? You guys rock. Nice. Hopefully we're not freezing for too many of you guys. Oh, you found our channel a few days ago. I'm so glad you did. Woo! So glad you're here. So glad you're here. Nice. Sub for burpees. Great question. You can just give me a deadlift right here. Okay, if you don't want to do the burpees where you're going all the way down, deadlift. Or you can go deadlift, clean, deadlift, clean, 
since we're doing a burpee clean. Otherwise, burpees, you guys, you can always take your hands on a chair or bench right here, and then I would step back, step back, step in, step in, right? Bring the ground closer to you. Add a chair or bench is gonna decrease the intensity, okay? Put your hands on a chair or bench or on a countertop at an incline. You're still stepping back and stepping in on that burpee. Make sense? All right, right, so now I feel good. She's ready. Now She's I feel good. It. What is the minute mark that it takes you to get into a workout? Today it took me a little bit longer than normal. Usually it's like five to seven minutes. Today we're like 18 to 20 minutes. Now I'm into it. Now I'm here. How do you feel, Rach? Good. I feel good. Sweaty feels good. for sure. Right? I'm ready to like, it's nice. I can wrap my head around all the moves one more time. Yeah, you, know? you guys, one more time. That's so stinking simple, yeah. right? Maybe we'll even go for a third round. I was like, did I time this right? She's crazy. Did I time this right? I think so. We'll see. We might have to add on some extra core moves at the end. Okay, here we go. It might be the first workout where we actually go under time versus overtime. <laughs> cool. Uh, Deadlift, <laughs> right? Kettlebell, left hand, okay? Kettlebell, left hand. Deadlift, clean, squat, single arm press. Big complex move to start it out with. Yes, put the kettlebell in your left hand. Deadlift, clean, squat, single arm press. We go there. In three, two. Let's go, deadlift, clean, powered up, squat and push, coming down with control, hinge, drive, squat, drive, come down with control, hinge, drive, squat, drive, you got it, nice work, core is nice and tight, deadlift, glutes and hammies, squat, shoulders, core, right there, hitting it all, hamstrings, glutes, hips, shoulders, core, quads, woo, nice work, you guys, 10 seconds here. Boom, big, complex move. You got one more in you, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, side to side squat thruster. I'm holding it by the horns. Elbows stay nice and tight, no chicken wings. Keep it tight. We'll step to our left this time. You got 10 seconds. Whew. Set Get it down, break. Yeah. set it down. Okay, grab that bell. Hold it nice and tight, right at your chest. Three, two, let's go. Left, push, right, push. As I push overhead, think about pulling those inner thighs together. Full extension at the top, pelvis under ribs. Big exhale, pushes that kettlebell or dumbbell over head. You got it. Push, inhale, exhale, full squat each time. Come on. Naturally gonna raise your heart rate right here. You got it. Stay in it. Nice, go for 10, nine, eight. Come on, come on. Yes, you can, middle five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, wide squat hold, alternating back rows. Let the heart rate come down, wide squat hold, alternating back rows. All right, gonna hold that low squat the entire time. Can transition in between. Woo, ready? Get low, get low. We go in three, two, let's go. Row, row, hold that squat nice and low. Row, you got it, row, nice. Strong legs, strong core, strong back, right here. Come on, one row at a time. Let that heart rate come down. You got it, nice, halfway guys, just keep moving, halfway here, yes you can. Come on, nice work, stay in it team. Row, you got it, row. Nice work, go for a 10. Come on, woo, awesome job. How low can you stay in those legs? Final five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it out. Our favorite move, the lunge swing, okay? Kettlebell's gonna go on the left hand, standing on my left leg. Right leg's gonna step back to lunge as this swings up. Pull out of hips, pull out of core. Good for you runners, right here. We go in three, two, let's go. Lunge, swing, lunge, woo, you got it. Come on, right through that left heel. Think about making a fist with that front left butt cheek. Left glutes, left quads, right here, so on fire. My hips move the weight, my arm is just a vehicle. My hips do the work, you got it. Ah. Hang in there, guys. Come on, you're in the final 10, nine. Let's go, finish strong right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Set it down, shake it out, down to push-ups. Push-ups on your bell or on your dumbbell. Two climbers, one push-up, two climbers. One push-up, two climbers. 
partners. Nice work, team. Woo, we go in three. In two. Let's roll. Push up. Drive, drive. Come on. One push up. Two climbers. Yes, you can. Come on, those endorphins are starting to kick in now. It's starting to feel good, yes? Woo! You got this, guys. You got this. Come on. Halfway. Halfway. Come on, one rep at a time. Just keep moving. Yes, you can. So stinking strong. That's what you are for 10 more seconds. Right here. Working for that break. It comes in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! How do we get off the ground, Rachel? Burpees, Burpees. baby. <laughs> Burpees, baby. I love it. One burpee, one clean. Remember your options. Find an incline. Or give me deadlifts. Okay? One burpee, one clean. Alternate your arm. We go in three, two, let's go. Burpee, clean. Nice. Come on. One burpee, one clean. Remember, it's driving through those heels. That stands you tall, drives those hips forward. Powers that weight right up to shoulder height. Come on. Stay in it. You got this. Woo. Think about catching the weight. Get the weight up to the shoulder and then catch it. Woo. Get underneath it. You got it. Let's go, guys. Come on. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Stay in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, kettlebells down. Woo. Swings. Time to swing it. Time to swing it. Woo, grab some water. 40 seconds of swings. Initiate with the hip hinge. Right? We go in three, two, let's go. Hinge swing. Standing straight up. Tucking those hips right underneath my rib cage. Right? Nice work, guys. This is where even if you have like a 15 pound kettlebell and you have a heavier dumbbell, maybe you go heavier. This is a great move to go heavy on. If I'm just swinging, I'll typically reach for my 35 pound kettlebell. But because we're in a big endurance workout, it's kind of like pyramid style. I'm using a lighter weight, powering through each move as I can. Come on, you're in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Awesome job, guys. Okay, single leg deadlift is that balance core challenge. Deadlift, knee drive, passing the dumbbell, right? So I go a deadlift, pass, pass, knee drive, pass, pass, if you're like way too hard, submit, or use a towel instead of a kettlebell. We go in three, two, one. If it's too hard for you, just use a towel, a sweat towel. You don't have to use a weight. It's that transferring the load from side to side that makes it so stinking hard. Hips stay square to ground on that single leg deadlift. You can always step back to a stagger position, right? Right here. Transfer, transfer, and then try the drive. Transfer, transfer. Woo! This one's super challenging for me with the 25 pounds. I have to be so focused. Like, so I have focused. to like all of my brain right now. <laughs> this is where I can even go for a lighter weight too. That might help a little bit. Come on. Find that focal point on the ground. Woo! So focused for three, two, and one. Woo, nice work. Feel it in that standing leg too. Lateral lunge to our left. Lateral lunge to the left with the clean. Lateral lunge to the left with the clean. You guys are only gonna have to do this twice. Come on, then we're on to our arm ramp. This is the got here on move nine of ten. Nine of ten. We step out to the left. In three, two, let's go. Lateral lunge, clean. Lateral lunge, clean. Okay, so my hands just slide down the horns of the bell. Rachel's just pulling it up to shoulder height. We got it. You can tap it or balance drive it. Nice. Power up those outer glutes. Drive up. Power up those outer glutes. Drive up. You got it. Down. Up. Come on, hips go down and back. You got this, you got this. Yes, you can. I always feel this move the next time. Oh yeah. Every time. Outer glutes. You're gonna feel this one. Let's go. You got five, four, three, two, and one. We love a good lateral lunge. So good for our knees, too. Woo! Last move, guys. Glute bridge. Glute bridge. Side to side, chest press. Okay, that elbow comes out to the side, center, 
Side center. Whew. We go in three. We go in two. Let's go. Hips are high. Drop it. Press it. Drop it. Press it. You got it. Keep those hips nice and even as you drop that bell side to side. Hold them high. Nice. Hamstrings turned on. Glutes turned on. You got it. Catch your breath right here. Final move before we power up into our big AMRAM finisher. Woo! Come on, come on. Stay with me right here. Yes, you can. You're in it. 10 seconds, guys. Keep those hips lifted. Nice and high. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, team. Woo! Quick water break. Quick water break. And let's talk about our AMRAM. Woo! AMRAM. One heck of a way to finish a workout, yes? You have a five minute AMRAM, okay? We're at the 30 minute mark. You do a five minute AMRAM, takes us to 35. The last five minutes we stretch, okay? Go hard for five, stretch for five. That's where we're at, how are we doing? How heavy is my kettlebell? My kettlebell is 25 pounds, okay? That's what I have. Just seeing this, yep, it's recorded. It's gonna stay live right here on YouTube. It's gonna stay live right here on Instagram, okay? So you can always come back, do it later today. You guys are so awesome, I love it. So many people are gonna come back. Oh, so many people are asking what weights we're using. Okay, I have a 25 pound kettlebell. Rachel's using a what? 15 and 20. 15 and 20 pound single dumbbell. Okay, we'll link my Amazon basics kettlebell. It's just straight from Amazon in the YouTube video and I'll link it on Instagram stories too, okay? Woo, 20 pound kettlebell with a screaming toddler. You rock, mama. <laughs> I'll just say that right now, you rock. Okay guys, five minute AMRAM. It means you're gonna do five exercises, as many rounds as possible in five minutes. So I'm gonna start a five minute timer. You've done most of these moves in the workout, okay? Your first one. You're gonna do five deadlift clean squat single arm press. That first move we did. Deadlift clean squat single arm press. You're gonna do five of them just on the right arm. The second time through, you'll go to the left side. So you'll alternate side each time. So I'm gonna stay on the right for the first set. Five deadlift squat single arm press. Five uneven lunge swings. Lunge swing. It's only five of them. Woo! Okay, it's gonna go fast. Five of those. Five single leg deadlift back row. So I'll stay standing on my right leg. Left leg will shoot back. Roll on the right for five. Four. You can always go to a stagger. Three. Five single leg deadlift back rows. That's our only new move. Five push ups on my bell on that right hand. Again, staying on the right side the whole time. And then 10 swings to finish it. Okay? And then I'm gonna switch sides and go through it on the left. I'm gonna be going through this at my pace. Rachel's gonna be moving at hers. You can stick with us or move at your own pace. Five deadlift queen, <laughs> five deadlift clean squat single arm press. Five uneven lunge swings. Five single leg deadlift rows. Five push ups on the bell. 10 kettlebell swings. Five of each move, 10 kettlebell swings to finish it. Yes? Does this make sense? It's five minutes. Stick with me or go at your own pace, okay? Four months postpartum with number six. Oh, jaw, my jaw just dropped. And you're here? Everybody do this, right? Everybody does this. You guys rock. Here we go. Five minute AMRAP. I'm going to start that timer so we got plenty of time to stretch. I'm going to start on my right arm. Five deadlift clean, clean squat single arm press. Man, try to say that five times. I know. Down. A tongue twister. That is a tongue twister. You're five minutes. You do your best. You forget the rest. You're five minutes. I'll give you... Countdowns as we go. Your five minutes to start. In three, two, let's go. So deadlift, clean, squat, press. That's one. We're going for five right here on the right. Nice. Two. Again, you can stick with us or move at your own pace. You decide whatever works for you. It's your five minutes. That's three. I might need Rachel to count at some point. <laughs> and all for AMRAMs, Rachel has to count. Uh -oh. That's four. I can't talk and count at the same time. Do you not remember the workout where I gave us an extra round of split jumps? Oh yeah, I do. I do. Lunge swings, one, two, three, four, five, right into, I'm gonna stand on my right leg. Right, this, that's awkward, right? It's this arm. Yeah, off. So let, let's stand on the left. Right arm's gonna roll. Left leg. Two, three, four, Five, right into five push ups on the bell, right hand. Let's see if I can do this on my toes. One, two, three. You guys, you're down to one minute. Put four minutes left. Five, ten swings. Ten swings. Here we go. It's going to go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine. 10, right into the left side. Deadlift, start from the top. Deadlift, 
And man, so pretty much whatever you got left, whatever gas you got left, whatever it is. Five. That's five. Swing it. Lunge, swing. Lunge. Thank goodness we only got five of these. Nice. I'm gonna keep the death right here, single arm rows. Three. Four. We're down to push ups. Five. Come on, come on, keep moving. Nice work, guys. Come on, we're in 10 swings. Finish off round two. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Halfway. Four, five, six. How many rounds can you get through? Eight, nine. Can we get through one more round on each side? That's our goal. Here we go. Deadlift, clean, squat, thruster. Try to get through one more round on each side. Two. You got it, guys. Stay with it. Three. Four. It's where the heavy breathing just sets in. And you just keep pushing. Swing it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, my grip. My grip. Five rows. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five push-ups. One minute and 30 seconds. Let's go, team. One, two, three, woo, four, ten swings. Let's go. We got to get through that other side yet. One, two, three, four. Am I on a group text or what is happening? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go finish it, guys. One minute. How far can we get? Deadlift. Clean. Squat, thruster, oh, Atlanta. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn off my texting during these live workouts. Someone is just blowing up my phone. Three. Come on. Four. The last one. Five. Swing it. Let's go. Let's go. Finish strong, Rage. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, single arm rows. Single arm rows on the left. Two, three, four. 20 seconds, guys. Five push ups. Yes, you can. Let's finish it. Two, ah, three, 10 seconds. I think we're going to finish it. We're going to go for 10 swings. Let's go. You're in the final 10 seconds. Finish it. One, two, three, four. This is it. Go for five, four, three, two, and one. We Woo! are done. Way to go, Paige. There you go, Lindsay. What do we make you? Four rounds total. Rounds. Two rounds per side. I'll take it today. I'll take it. Woo! Yes, totally go at your own pace during those AMRAPs. That's what it's all about, you guys. It's about taking the workout at your pace. It's basically men. Do like whatever gas you have left, pour it out in those last five minutes. Today, my gas tank is pretty empty, I'm not gonna lie. But holy bananas, you guys inspire me every sinking day to show up. Are these safe to do with diastasis recti? So it's really hard to answer that question because the severity of diastasis recti, that's abdominal separation, typically happens after pregnancy, varies so significantly from person to person, okay? You guys, it varies so significantly. And it's all about the tension you can generate across your gap with your deep transverse abdominal muscles. That's what it's all about. If you wanna learn more about diastasis recti and safe exercises, check out our eight best diastasis recti exercises. It's our number one video on YouTube. I'm gonna to have to tell my friends after this that I just, I, I gotta get off these group text chains, holy cow. Um, but you guys check out that video, but my number one suggestion, if you have abdominal separation, Avoid any exercise that causes coning or doning. Today, you would have been at highest risk for that during push-ups and burpees, okay? So like I said, that adding the incline, super important. When you have DR, add an incline. Place your hands 
on a countertop, a chair, or a bench, and do your work from there. Does that make sense? Let's stretch, team. Let's stretch. Woo! So proud, Rich. She's on the ground. I like it. We're gonna. I'm done. We're stretching from the ground today. She's done. She's done. I'm with you. We're gonna stretch from the ground. Find tabletop. Let's go tabletop. Shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over knees. Right here, you're gonna drop the belly, lift the chin, and then you're gonna reverse it. Tuck the spine towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Gazing back towards my toes. Nice. Come back to a nice neutral spine again. One more time. Drop the belly, lift the chin, and reverse it. Pull that spine. Up towards the ceiling. A lot of people tend to feel low back pain after kettlebell workouts. I'd really challenge you to check your form. It's, it's not a bad idea to actually videotape yourself during a kettlebell workout. From here, you're going to kick the right leg out. We're going to do an adductor hip rock. Me and Tim were doing these last night. How hard is it for you? So go forward, hinge back, point your toes up to the ceiling. How challenging is that, right? Set the toes down. Forward, back, point the toes up. If you have trouble getting your toes up to the ceiling, this is a move to come back to and continually work on. Really great for that inner thigh, outer thigh complex. Your adductor, adductor, that's what stabilizes our pelvic floor, okay? Talking about DR and pelvic floor and all those things, right? So it's about getting those toes up to the ceiling. Nice work, toes up to the ceiling. Also from here, you're actually just gonna pull this leg in. This knee is gonna stay bent. Toes are tucked underneath me. My right leg comes to a 90 degree bend to the side. I'm sliding my right arm down it. So it's like, what is this? Why can I not think? Triangle pose, warrior. I was like, like TikTok in my head. I'm like, you TikTok talk over, you know? It's like know. a kneeling warrior. Yeah. It's like a kneeling warrior. Okay, right? You're pushing that right elbow into that right knee, opening up those hips and those glutes. Nice. Awesome job. Nice work, guys. Awesome. Bring it back to center. Back to tabletop position. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to shoot this left leg out, and I'm going to go hips forward, hips back, toes up to the ceiling, toes down. Hips forward, hips back, toes up to the ceiling, toes down. Hips forward, hips back. The kettlebell really targets our power generating muscles, sorry, Rachel, which are our hips, our glutes, our hamstrings, okay? Those are the muscles. We're gonna do one more right here. Those are the muscles we're really targeting. Nice from here. Again, right knee stays on the mat, left leg's gonna come out to 90 degrees. Tick tock the arms, pushing that left elbow into that left inner thigh, opening everything up right here. Awesome. Really focusing that inner thigh. It right? really targets our hips, our glutes, our power generating muscles, which are also muscles that tend to be extra tight on a lot of us, especially if you sit at a desk all day. So these stretches are so important. We're gonna come down to a seated position and go into a 90-90. Love the 90-90. So front leg or front chin comes parallel, back leg. Both knees are bent at 90 degrees. Create space between your heel and your knee right here. Now think about pushing this knee into the ground and this knee into the ground as I split my shin in half with my midline. So it's really easy to go over here no, no, your midline has to come right across that middle of the shin. Split your shin in half. Push your knees into the ground. It's an active stretch for this glute right here, this outer glute, and this hip right here. Active stretch for both sides of the hip. Awesome job. Push those knees into the ground. You got to keep those feet flexed. Nice work, you guys. Right here, keep hinging forward. Awesome. And then from here, you're actually just going to sit up and go over onto your side, and you're going to pull this back leg towards you and get a nice quad stretch because Rachel and I were just talking about how sore our quads are. So you're gonna get an awesome little quad stretch right there. That should feel so good. So good. Nice. Come back to a seated position. Kick your legs actually in front of you. We're gonna go for reverse tabletop. Fingertips face your butt. Legs are bent at 90 degrees. Push your hips up and let your neck just hang heavy. Spread your chest apart. Big chest expansion right here. Hold for three, two, one. Sit it back 90, 90 other way. Switch the legs. Shin comes to 90 degrees right here. Legs 90 degrees create space between my heel and my knee. Think about pushing this knee and this knee into the ground as I split my front shin in half. Hinging forward, splitting that front shin in half. Really feel this in this hip muscle. And then if you push this knee actively into the ground, you're going to feel it right here opening up this hip too. It's all about making an active stretch. You decide how challenging the stretch is by how hard you push your knees into the ground. This side is so much harder for me. Is than it? The other one? Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, definitely I'll have a tighter hip for sure. Right? That's why we love unilateral training, those single-sided exercises, so we can't let those big muscles that are tend to overcompensate continue to overcompensate and cause injury. Awesome job. Sit it back. We're going to do one final hamstring stretch because we get a lot of hammies today with the deadlifts and the swings. Right here, flex your toes towards your face. Think about pushing your hips back towards that wall behind you, just like you would in a hip hinge. Big inhale up as you exhale. Hinge forward. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Flex your toes towards your face. Push your hips back towards that wall behind you. Hold it here for three, two, and now you can release, let everything go heavy. Nice, just let it all melt. Oh my goodness, I feel such a calf stretch right here today. 
Reach for your calves and toes, whatever you got. Nice, just stretching out through those hamstrings. If you feel tightness in your low back, this is a great stretch, right? Legs up the wall is also another awesome stretch. Get your booty nice and tight to the wall. Put your legs up the wall. That's a great way to release that low back pain if you feel that after a kettlebell workout. Awesome job, you guys. So stinking proud of you. Way to go, Rachel. Way to go, Lindsay. Nice work to you guys at home. You can always come back. This workout's going to stay live on YouTube. It's going to stay live on Instagram. You guys are so awesome. We do have a new challenge kicking off for October. It's going to be a 30-day workout challenge. I know you guys always like to know what's coming next. So you can look forward to that. We're going to throw it back to our weekly workout plan number one next week. No live workouts next week because we're dropping a lot. And we're dropping an awesome new 40-minute yeah. athletic hit workout for you guys. You're going to love it. As always, you can find more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. You guys rock. Thanks for always showing up and working hard. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much, Instagram. You guys are awesome. Nice. Felt so good to work out with friends, right? Always feels good. Thanks for showing up and motivating me. I needed it today. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you so much, Brittany. Nice. New favorite for sure. I love it. We love new favorites. Awesome job, you guys. And thank you guys so much for showing up and working hard on YouTube. We absolutely love our YouTube audience. It has been so fun to connect with all of you guys this year on YouTube. Way to go, Alice. Thank you for another amazing live workout. Love you, Lindsay and Rachel. What I didn't love was those lunge swings, right? I told you. That move Brutal. is spicy. But we love throwing some new moves at you. It's always good to challenge yourselves in new, new ways. But yes, that was intense. Can I work out the next day? That all depends on how you're feeling, okay? So you could always switch it up. You could do our yoga abs tomorrow. You could do something a little more gentle or get those steps in a good 10,000 steps. Love the variety. Thanks so much, Tova. We always love seeing your comments. You're so awesome. Way to go, Chrissy. You got a kettlebell when you saw the notification. Oh, I love it. First kettlebell. Way to break it in. That's a good workout. We have other fun kettlebell workouts you can break it in with too. Thank you so much, ladies. First live you've been able to catch. So glad you could catch us live, Jessica. And Liz, holy bananas, apples and oranges. I'm with you. I, I had a tough time today, but we did it together. First live video. Yeah, Erica, so great. So glad you can make it. Way to go, Don. Awesome job. You guys are just so awesome. Kettlebell always brings holy bananas moments without jumping, right? It's amazing. It is so stinking amazing. Thank you guys so much for showing up and working hard. Always fun to sweat live with you. We'll be back live again soon. Have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much. You guys rock. I can't type. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. Nice work, you guys. Awesome. Thanks, Tyler. Oh, first live. We had a lot of first livers, you guys. So glad you could join us. Hopefully we didn't have any like glitchy issues and it all worked out really well. Awesome work, you guys. Always come back for more. Thanks so much.